Good evening, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. We just made it here to Ticket and Transportation Center. We are going to Magic Kingdom this evening. We got a little bit of a late start. It's going on 5 p.m. The park closes at 7 p.m. But we have to celebrate today because we just got approved for a new beautiful apartment yes. right down the road. Yes. We are officially going to be living in the Disney bubble. Very <laughs> exciting. We cannot wait to move closer to Disney. On the other hand, I am here because yesterday I was at Universal and it was awesome. I walked on to every ride pretty much. There was hardly anybody at Universal. So it's the next day during the week. It is a Thursday. I want to see if Disney is like Universal as far as crowd levels. So we'll see. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. Before we hop on the monorail, I do want to point out, I've seen pictures online. Disney has put just a ridiculous amount of barricades and plexiglass on monorail black, I believe. So we're going to try to wait for monorail black to see how true that is. Bianca just told me the craziest thing. She just told me, and it's been confirmed by Disney, on the West Coast at Disneyland, there's no more APs. Like they're taking it out. Oh yeah, she's just showing me a breaking news. Disney said they're gonna look into other forms of entry for like locals. I really hope that does not happen here at WDW because if that was to happen, then I would be pretty fed up. And here comes Monorail Black. I'm not sure if I'm ready to see. <laughs> I already see it. Oh my goodness. Look at this. What is going on? There's dividers everywhere. Wow. I don't know what to say. I mean, I understand why Disney is doing this to put more people on the monorail. But dang. I mean, it's not horrible, but if I was with my family, like a family of four, I don't know how this would work. I mean, I'm sure you could take up the entire monorail, but like for myself and Bianca, we're okay. We fit just fine. But I will say, Disney, thank you for being safe. And I understand why Disney is doing this to be safe. And they are testing this. Yes, so it's to, testing. And they're trying to figure out what works what doesn't work right. i think this is really nice you know as long as we get to come to magic kingdom to the parks i think you know i'll do whatever yeah as long as i get to come here oh we're inside the contemporary <laughs> now the ride over here on the monorail wasn't too bad like i'm okay with the dividers i can't really judge it just yet until i ride it with a lot of people like each corner is filled with people but so far it's not too bad just very different and again, this is only testing right now, so we don't know if this will stay around or not. The scrim is still up on the train station. guys notice anything different around the hub here at the train station the tree's gone the tree is all gone no more christmas it's not exactly like how universal was when i first walked in but it's kind of empty so far whoa there's no line for starbucks right now so bianca needed a pick-me-up to get this evening started that's impressive the line for starbucks has been so long through the holiday season. Check this out, as we're paying and placing our order, Disney has added a speaker, that way the cast member can talk to us and we can hear. Genius. The Haunted Mansion, 10 minutes. Thanks for visiting us today. Pirates of the Caribbean, 15. Big Thunder, 30. Splash, 20. Space, 20. Wow. What's uh, Seven Dwarfs? Let's see here. Winnie the Pooh is 10. 
I'm confused. 40. Wow. That's not bad at all. Well, since the wait times are pretty low right now, we only have about an hour and a half until park closed. I think we're just going to try to ride as many rides as we can, give you any park updates, if any. Maybe we can end with a dinner to celebrate. Who knows? We jumped in line to ride Pirates. It's only about a 15 to 20 minute wait. Let's time it. Only waited 17 minutes and five seconds. As we were waiting in line to ride Pirates, I looked on the My Disney Experience app because we want to have dinner. We haven't had dinner yet. We found a Liberty Tree Tavern for 6.40 and the park closes at 7. So by the time we get done eating dinner, the park should be pretty much empty. Look at the Florida sunset. It looks like cotton candy over Splash Mountain. Absolutely beautiful. Next up, Big Thunder. It's only a 30 minute wait. We only waited 17 minutes and 38 seconds. Not bad at all. That ride was awesome! Well, hello there, Frontierland Goofy. Looking sharp. We only rode two rides today, but that's okay because when we parked at TTC, we only had about two hours worth of park time, but now it's dinner time. I'm very excited. I've been here before. I've never filmed it. I'm gonna film today. It is a family style feast of Thanksgiving food. So you have turkey, stuffing, all kinds of goodness. Let's head over there. And here we are at Liberty Tree Tavern. We are one of the last families heading into the restaurant because the park closes in about 15 minutes. Look how empty it is right now. I just checked this in. The price for adults, 39, and ages three through nine, 21. The menu is still completely digital. Looks like we have a drink menu, but I'm gonna skip that for today because I am starving. I do want to mention, if you need a plant-based menu, they do offer it here. Looks like you have a salad, impossible meatloaf, and a apple seed warm apple cake. First up, we have a salad and rolls. All right, I'm not really sure where to begin, but we have turkey. We have some kind of pork with like a mushroom topping on it, stuffing, pot roast, cranberry sauce, gravy, mashed potatoes, green beans, and macaroni and cheese. Yum. We are currently waiting for dessert to arrive. In the meantime, I wanted to give you guys a small tour of Liberty Tree Tavern. It's very cozy in here. Right as you arrive, you will walk through the doors here and you'll check in right here. And then from there, the host will take you to your table. The restrooms are located upstairs. It kind of reminds me of like a Cracker Barrel in a way. For dessert, we got the ooey gooey toffee cake. It is vanilla toffee cake, chocolate sauce, and vanilla ice cream. We just finished dinner. It is now 8 o'clock p.m. So the park has officially been closed for an hour. So hopefully 
we can get you some pretty amazing shots of the park after it's closed. Check this out. It's so empty and so quiet. Let me talk about our dinner at Liberty Tree Tavern. I enjoyed it, I liked it. Like I said, I've been here I think twice before and I loved it. Now, I just wanna say, it really wasn't up to par tonight and I think that's because of it was one of the last reservations before the park closed. So keep that in mind if you're booking, maybe try not to book towards the end of the night. I just feel like the food wasn't that fresh, like it was sitting for a little bit, but it was still good, don't get me wrong. I'm glad we were able to celebrate at Liberty Tree Tavern. The service was great, but uh, it was just okay tonight. Well, we are almost the last guest to leave Magic Kingdom for the night. It's still pretty cool to be in the park this late. I love this view here on Main Street. Sometimes I would come here to watch Happily Ever After. Oh yeah, really quick before I let you guys go, the one thing I didn't have time to do today was to make my way over to Tron because the rumor now is it's not opening until next year, 2022. I don't know exactly why, but I think it's due to some kind of budgeting. But the next time I'm here, I promise I will show you guys Tron because I know they have covered everything up. Who knows what's happening with Tron? Is it cold, babe? Yeah, it's a little cold this evening. All right, my friends, I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. It is now 8.15, which means the monorail is no longer running. So we need to take the ferry boat back over to TTC. What a fun night. I mean, I'm just walking down Main Street here. <laughs> I tried to scare him. You, you kind of got me. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> the, uh, the Emporium is not even open. I lost my train of thought now. Um, super fun day. I'm glad we were able to celebrate with you guys. Universal was just hit or miss, but right now it's still not that bad. Even earlier today, as I was looking at wait times, mine train was only 60 minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. And if you're new here, please subscribe because we do this quite often and make sure you have those notifications turned on and set to always. That way you'll always be notified when I release a new video or even go live. Also, make sure you're following along on Instagram. I love you guys. It's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming, out. I am feeling lonely in a room and it's time to end the ride. Fading it too slowly for those can lift me up this time. You were the only one who got me tripping up inside All the words you told me Am I reading something different from your eyes?